sexual euphemisms around every corner. I I I will not avoid this was, these. This was Polonius is doing. Yeah. Uh, the reason why we're here, I forget. Oh right, to... <laughs> we're gonna be doing that. We're gonna be doing that Orpheus shit, man. Yeah, we're gonna talk to Orpheus <laughs> without well, looking him in the him? eye. We're, no, we're gonna, gonna talk, talk to, to we're gonna talk to we're gonna talk to Shinichi. Then we're gonna do hey, a, replicate the replicate the, the myth of Orpheus. Hey, Orpheus, how's the sex life? Oh, it's, it's there's a pun here. Uh, uh oh, whatever. <laughs> All right, let's begin. I'm happy. Yeah, I'm sold. Yep. Uh. Back winded? No. There's a there's a there's a punchline there. Oh god. Hi Sals. Okay. <laughs> so yes. You have found you now find yourself in the bows or roots. It's hard to tell. The tree wow. that is infinite. <laughs> uh is before you seems to surround you it and um uh, it's seeming to extend infinitely into the air but also infinitely below you and what could be a tendril of a root could just as easily be another branch in its canopy above you a great canopy of leaves stretches out below you Seemingly Question. the same, but yet each canopy, each um, bough, each uh, branch seems to carry with it a different uh, natural domain that shift and change depending on where you look. Uh, All this surrounding. Of... Okay. Sorry, how's our footing at the moment? Uh, the there is none. The, We're falling. Ah! <laughs> the bow that you are on is a essentially you are standing on a massive expanse of natural wood. Mm -hmm. um, your footing is fine. Okay, uh, you would have to, sure. to walk hundreds of feet um, to your right or left in order to actually fall off. Right. Um, is it like a slope, or can we see over the edge? Uh, it begins to slope. It does slope down if you keep walking in uh, towards the edge. Um, so you you would eventually ha have to start climbing instead of just walking. Um, gotcha. Behind you is a... Well, it looks like... Simultaneously, it looks like a whole bunch of leaves, but it also looks like a vast forest. Um, that takes up the massive branch that uh, you now stand on, extending from the uh, titanic mass of the tree's central trunk. You are alone here. The portal disappears behind you as you stand, and there are no mm. entities that immediately you spot, no... Um, no additional, uh, uh, there are, there is the occasional branch that seems to branch out of this branch and extend upward, um, curve around some massive leaves and small normal size leaves. Um, it is at once intimidating but also very warmly inviting. The air is very comfortable here. Mm. The uh, structure itself is beautiful. No matter where you look is a feast for the eyes, riotous colors as uh, sky and mountain and desert and sea all seem to be visible at once in, a, uh, in any uh, single direction. What do you do? Um, start walking. In what direction? Let's yeah. go. Up. I mean, 
<laughs> yeah, if it, <laughs> I want to make a perception check and see if there's anything that I can like kind of see, mm. if, if there's like a slope in any particular direction. Mm -hmm. Besides, like to the sides, but you know, trying to scope out the area. Well, you can see where the branch that you're standing on connects to the trunk, and when it does so, it slopes up very rapidly, actually. Hmm. Well, I mean, we should probably go that way. That's mm. if there's going to be like civilization ish stuff. Uh, is that a thing they would have? I mean, the, or I don't know, like a woodland enclave. Oh, yeah, maybe. And Polonius has yeah. civilization, right? Like yeah. a circle of druids. He had a, he had a whole, like, motel and, and business. Yeah. Maybe he had, like, little tree houses. I don't know, maybe, maybe the real motel is just filled with dinosaurs. What? That's what, the, that's what the books say about the guy. He liked dinosaurs. Oh, oh, I don't, well, that's probably not going to be fun, but <laughs> that's, we'll, what we'll deal the... with that. Dinosaur Alpheo asks. Big lizard. So a dragon. Yeah. No. no. Dumber. I don't think they breathe. Yeah, fire. they're dumber, yeah. So Drake? No. I You're far away, I... Nuva. Uh, Akio's far away. <laughs> well, it's a big tree. <laughs> Akio went to the other side. Oh the ranch. <laughs> Listen, I I'm 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 like a tourist. This is a brand new place. I'm gonna check it out. Look at those melons. Oh man! Now, now Anywho, don't grow on trees. Uh, yeah. you remember, remember that like you remember that portrait like Pascal had of like Silva busting down the door of the Grand Prince's throne room with the dinosaur? What? That yeah. was clearly a dragon. No, or, or a, my um... and or bird, whatever I thought at the oh, time. Oh, I thought it was Pascal. Sorry, I must have misremembered. God. <laughs> well, it was my brother's. Ah, yes. So, oh, um. <laughs> Yeah, let's let's start making our way up. Let's go up. Would hopefully, they... hopefully that there's like weird gravity, and we'll go up the tree. <laughs> what? Like our feet will stick to the tree as we climb, walk on it? I don't know. <laughs> well, we test it out. Wow. Actually, I, I wouldn't be the best to test it out. I already do that. <laughs> I don't feel I don't feel very confident about our ability to just climb it. <laughs> Oh you know, god. We yeah, won't know until we get there. I think Bat Bear figure. is the only one who could probably climb it. We can figure it out once we <laughs> yes. scope it out. As a yeah. as the world as the group's best climber. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a hot second since I've climbed. God. All right. Let's head toward right. the end of this branch, I guess, to where it roots off from, or branches out from, I guess. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, you begin walking forward towards the, um, the trunk, and it is uh, a fairly substantial journey. Um, you, uh are walking for a couple hours before the branch sort of slopes down a bit into a, a well, really a valley um, that you hadn't quite seen. And at this point, it's also con considerably wider as you've head to <laughs> headed towards the trunk um, to the point that you can't really make out the uh, edges quite as easily anymore, especially since the area that you have now started to walk into is wooded. Out of the tree grows yet more trees. And uh -huh. in fact, as you walk along, the uh, the bark sort of converts into loamy soil. And very soon, it you seem to be walking through any other forest. I'm being called by... Oh. <laughs> what just happened? What? He's being called. Okay. Yeah, you got a phone call. Oh, he's been summoned. Yes. He's been declared. So, uh, watch any good movies lately? On yeah. Vore Day? Oh. Oh. What'd you watch on Vore Day? What, what movies did you watch? I saw The Green Knight. Da, 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 How da, 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 da. was The Green Knight? I liked the Green Knight. 
It was good to watch it. Yeah, I didn't like it, the theater experience. It should have been fine. There were only like seven sorry, people in there, but there was a really annoying giggly couple behind me. <laughs> I oh, hear the God. whole time. And why are you giggling at the Green Knight? Shut up, shut up, shut up. Please shut up. I. I oh. So I have a question to ask, Rita. Yeah, have you yeah. played Dark Souls? Yes, very much so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I heard that the Green Knight looks like a big dad. Is that true? You mean a giant dad? Giant dad, thank yeah, you. Yeah, he. the face is kind of like one of those masks, sure. You've got that uh, look. I'm a little upset that apparently from what I've heard, me knowing the Arthurian myth has spoiled the movie for me. Yes. It, it really hasn't. It's, <laughs> you know, it's... It, the, no, it, it's the execution. The, yeah, the storyline, you know, it is what it is, but it's what happens I, and how that makes it I will say that I'm I will say that I'm super happy that like the the Green Knight got an adaptation because that's one of those Arthurian stories you read and you're like, yeah. there's just no other way to take that other than is this seriously real? It's this really is, like cute. It's like cute fun. Like I'd never heard of it before. Yeah, and then I like, read it one and I'm like, oh. Yeah, like you compare that against like Mordred and it's like <laughs> their tone is completely different. Oh, very different tone, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Uh Anyhow. Anyway, anyhow. Three. Forest, I mean. Welcome back, Sales. Regular Sorry. forest. Yes. Um, and actually, some of the truths are fruited. Uh, uh -huh. You note that the the ground isn't really covered in uh, uh, fruit so much. It uh, looks like they have just sort of grown. We got um, any? We got any funky funky fruits like chocolate? No, fruit. not especially. It's oh, just. It's not uh, really Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> it's it... just fruits there are occasional like normal fruits actually you see uh, some of them are a little strange they're like oranges and apples growing on the same tree um okay. and otter uh and otter oh. uh fruits um you see a tree of durians oh hell yeah Ah, uh, the stinky fruit and you see it you see it is uh it is sort of uh, separated from all the other trees. Yeah. Apparently, all the other trees have refused to grow near it. It's lovely. <laughs> um, is, is there like earth beneath our feet, or is it is stuff growing out of bark? Like, what is how... It feels like earth now. You have okay. it had been hard before, but now that you've gotten into this wood, you it feels like soil beneath your feet now. Huh. And it's uh, it's variously sort of grassy and um, and you know just general dirt you can see it in places there are leaves upon the ground twigs um and uh are there, any, are there any squirrels though uh you don't necessarily see any squirrels hmm. so you're telling but me squirrels, here, you're, you're telling do me squirrels hear, don't, like... don't go to heaven <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> is there is there any like woodland creature sounds? How is it just quiet? Is it is there uh, a wind? What is this place like? It's make very the still. Okay. Hit the <laughs> oh, God, I hope the giant bird from uh ants a bug's life isn't here. You don't yeah, spy any birds or woodland creatures, but you do feel like you hear them. It's it's sort of like a natural background noise. Okay. So this feels like a natural forest to you. It's not like uncanny or unsettling. Uh, there's no like su a weird stillness, and in fact, there's even the occasional breeze. Um, what you also spot with a thirty-seven though is a green where it should not be. Oh god. Mm. Like Giant the color. caterpillar. Green? Like the color. A green orange. What is it? Paulina, as you look at it and it seems to freeze, but not it's really. Moving. It uh it stops its lateral movement that it was making, but it is still moving slightly in place. It looks like a sort of ribbon of color in midair. It's what? Almost like a really tiny chunk of an aurora, just sort of 
floating in midair but near you. Um, did it notice me notice it? It, it appears to have noticed you notice oh, it when it okay. stopped moving. Um, uh, and now it's just sort of floating there in its sort of ribbony color way. Hello, there. It doesn't move. Hey. Can I see that thing? Uh, it's shimmer? easy to see once uh, uh, once uh, Paulina points it out to the rest of you. Oh, what? Ho, oh, hey, ho, oh, what is that? Ho. Oh. Ah. Uh. Was it moving towards us? Uh, could I have tell, told? Can I tell? You only <laughs> saw it moving briefly, but it appeared um, to be like okay. shadowing you. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it's, it's probably fine. It what? It, it's like aware of us, whatever it is, though. It's not like an ambient thing. It's like a, it's like an active thing. I don't know if, if it's cool. I don't know why. Like a spirit. What if this is what spirits look like when they reside here? Uh, I don't know why, but uh, I'm freaked out by that thing. So, uh, is there only one? Did you see only more? One. You only see the one. Huh. Can I wave at it? I'm waving at it. I cannot comprehend. Politely. But it's right. what are, it's what you think that's As sentient? You wave at it, think... Alina. Uh -huh. After a second, you see the ribbon sort of flutter in a waving motion back. <laughs> Ooh. It's nice. I don't know what to do about that though. Okay. Should we just Let's ignore just... it? Let's now? just let it go. I mean, it's not doing okay. anything. Could it's, be it, but it's. I think it's following. Me. Well, yeah, but it's interested. It's. We don't know how this okay. place works yet. We shouldn't make yeah, any more decisions. Let's just try to blend in. You know, okay. yeah. And let the natural world be natural. Well, I guess it's supernatural, but you know, yeah, natural to this place. Yeah, it, it shouldn't just be. It, I mean, this is, this isn't a place full of things that you know have bad intentions. So okay. <laughs> No. Weird. Nah, I mean, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. I don't know why, but Sal's calling it an aurora made me like go like, huh, does the aurora borealis smell like? And it smells <laughs> like flowers. Localized, so, entirely, I localized entirely within this forest at this time of year. At this latitude? <laughs> yes. Can I see it? No. no. <laughs> um, all right. If you turn around and uh, keep walking along, if uh, any time you look back, you see that it's basically maintaining the same distance behind you. Yeah. Um, occasionally swimming from side to side through the air. Uh, occasionally getting a little closer, as if curious. Okay. It's fun. Like, I don't know. Nick. Be nice what, to it. Try to do what, something friendly. What do hey. Silva's like angel things look like? You know, you have knowledge religion. Yeah. Hmm. Does do I know anything about that? I mean, you find roll. out. Huh? Roll and find out. Yeah. Maybe I've heard something at the. Well. Uh. Generally speaking, Silva's uh. Silva's clergy and worshippers don't tend to be very um, combative. Uh, so they don't have very much cause to really call down and summon mm -hmm. um, entities of uh, servants of Silva to like protect them or assist them in whatever ways. Um, but from what you do know, an ephemeral weird color ribbon uh wouldn't be out of the norm uh wouldn't be necessarily what you would expect but um in sort of the ways that they've been described it's more of a they've been described more as amalgamations of natural 
material given motive force. Like living machines? No, no, natural material. Yeah. Well, we, like, yeah. a, like a friendly stick. <laughs> <laughs> Stick get the stick. You, you summon you summon a silver <laughs> a silver a minion. It's just a stick bug. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> is there is there a silver minion that is just stick bug? Oh. Yeah, all it does is annoy people. Moment. I would absolutely lose it if you were to be like roll for initiative and then you played the dun, 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 Dark Souls music, and it's a stick bug. <laughs> like I'd, I'd actually one hundred percent, one thousand percent lose it. Like I would quit. <laughs> oh god. Anyway. Anyway. Onward. Yeah. Uh, hold on a sec. Oh, okay. wait. Well, I did click on that tag. Thank you, Twitter. That's my mistake. Why are you looking at Twitter while you're playing Pathfinder? Oh, well, I don't know. I mean, you said the, so said the hold on a second. <laughs> um. All right. As you watch, and uh, are you doing anything towards it right now? Because it actually sort of makes that weird uh, waving motion at you again. Oh. Oh. It, yeah, dude. What's, what's up? Let's follow it. It's not really moving. But it's just kind of slowly waving? Yeah. Until it actually sort of gently floats over to one of the fruit trees. And enters into one of the fruits. Oh. Fruit friend, which drops down with a bunch of into a bunch of leaves and sticks, and suddenly you see these leaves and sticks sort of just form together, and <gasps> what fruit? stand up well, fruit into friend. something. Oh my god! Yeah. That looks Can you like show this. us a picture. Oh my oh. god! Oh wait, is it gonna be uh, let's see. Oh! a lushy? Oh! Hell yeah! <laughs> I love lushies. They're so good. Oh my <laughs> god! Would it seem so adorable? That's Akio. edible. That's, uh, that's yeah, a... I was gonna say Akio, eat it. No. no. The I, tiny I, I... little amalgamation friend. of fruits and seeds and with its that's little literally orange edible. kill hat. Uh, yeah, you could eat parts of it if you were really so inclined. No. Um, It'd be evil it, though. Uh, <laughs> it it waves at you again and goes hello. Oh Hi. God, I can't. Well, Hi. never mind. It talked. It's adorable. <laughs> I want fifty of these. Uh. <laughs> Little Kasubi, one, do you want to join Outer Hand? <laughs> Kasubi tries to put on a brave face, but when you look back at her, she's just beside herself. <laughs> I lean down. Hi. What's your name? Do you have a name? It's okay if you don't. Yeah. Beema. Beema? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Beema. Oh, Beema. boy. I'm Sada. Sada. Yeah. Um, Why? You're not dead. <laughs> oh, that's true. Accurate. We're here to. No, I did once. Look for a friend. Is he dead? Mm. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm. We are too. Hmm. Okay. Can I come with you? Do you, do you can you sure. help us find somebody? <laughs> Sorry, so it's I think the microphone's not always picking up your, I, what you're putting down. Your frequency you, is too high. <laughs> oh really? If you uh, if you have the noise suppression, suppression on, it'll probably cut you up. Yeah. yeah it okay, doesn't let like me do. high frequency stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you can? Okay. Oh. What? 
What is happening? I don't know. This guy is just speaking. He's, he's, he's speaking on a frequency we, we can't hear. It's so Sounds... small. <laughs> just, just use the regular <laughs> voice, man. No, I love the voice. <laughs> I think I can help. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, that that would be wonderful. Can we help you? What would you do? I I, I don't know. Something nice. Whatever you'd like. Could you do a dance? Yeah, Kasumi, come on. <laughs> oh, um. <laughs> Uh, dance, Kasumi. Dance. Um. Oh. Okay. Um. South, what do I need to roll for this? I've perform. Perform. Or charisma, absolutely. Since you probably don't have it. <laughs> let's, let's find out if I have anything in perform. Got the old background skills. You know what? No, I already know. I only have stuff in craft cloth and uh, <laughs> and profession soldier. Hmm. Man, right. if, so, uh, man, it's kind of a damn shame that uh, Garland's dead because he would just suggest that you did it. Well, <laughs> no, it's it's probably for the best. I, uh, I've got Kasu skills in dance. Kasumi, but <laughs> but Kasumi was the one who was there. Yeah, I'm I'm duty bound. Uh, I, I I could take this bullet for you if you can embarrass yourself, Kasumi. <sighs> Okay. No, no, it, it's fine. Sure. Okay. It, they, the, they asked me, and I, yeah. I have to do it. Okay. So <laughs> we see to do just a little jig, a very embarrassed little jig. Hey, you beat a ten. That's it's, okay. it's, you know, it's, it's, it's not bad. Pass <laughs> well, and at the end, you know, Bima, Bima seems very in enthused. You know, at, as when you finish, um, her. Tiny little hands start clapping together, and she says, "Good, thank you." Amy <laughs> <Maybe> cries. <laughs> uh, do you, we're gonna be traveling? Do you want to travel with us? I guess. Okay. Do you want to like ride on somebody's shoulder? Where's where's all where did all the souls party? <laughs> party? I don't know, man. Oh, wow, it really doesn't pick up my voice very well, does it? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to watch the light come on, and, like, I'm saying stuff, and it's just like... Yeah, um, it's, I mean, it's gotten better as you, like, drop your pitch a little bit. I, I I turned off noise suppression, too, mm -hmm. but... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Hey, Dad, stop picking me up for a second there. Um, maybe if I just turned on voice first to talk. That's not yeah, a bad that's idea. Okay. okay, um, I don't know. Souls are around. They go okay. everywhere. Hmm. What are you looking for? Um, uh, an Adiron named Shinichi. Oh! I know Shinichi! Oh. Oh. That's, that's good. Sense motive! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Paulina? Into his this this, this creature him. may not actually have the capacity to lie. Um, you, you sense that this is the single most innocent thing you've ever come across that isn't, like, newly born. I, uh, this is my sense mode for my current disposition. <laughs> Why do you hate this thing? No, I, I, that's my the current opposite. disposition. Oh, I, yeah. oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, yes. I'm taking penalties because um, I, I intrinsically want to believe it. Yes, Kasumi, you, uh, you believe it inherently as well. But that's the thing, like, uh, a correct sense motive also tells you to believe it. Um, so really, a, a failure should tell you not to. Anyway. Um, yeah. Uh, really makes you think. Mine's blown, yeah.
Um, yeah, I don't know how this voice is potentially cutting through my walls either. <laughs> um, so maybe we can just imagine Ema's tiny voice. Uh, I'll miss uh -huh. it, but okay. Okay, uh, I'll break it Something. out again if uh, if it becomes important. I, it sounds at some point. Can you sing a little Dashi Leaf song in in the Bima voice? Maybe. Or even just I'm a little teapot would be very good. No. But you modify it. I'm, I, you know, I'm a little leshy. I'm glad. I'm glad leshies exist now. Wow, I actually cannot believe it. I, I tried to like make it for sales, and it just doesn't get picked up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so that's, playable leshy win. That's really actually hard to do. Sorry, didn't know that sales. Good job. <laughs> leshies are one of my favorite things. That yes. Paizo have done, I love has done. Um, but yeah, uh, Bima at that point um, yes. begins marching off in the direction of the trunk. Okay. Um, you follow. move to follow, and uh, quickly find that Bima's legs are about four inches long. <laughs> And uh, she doesn't really move very fast. Yeah, she could ride on our our shoulder if you want. We, okay, we might outpace you. Hey, Kasumi, do you wanna do you wanna have a yes friend, friend ride on your big strong shoulders? Yes. <laughs> right. Kasumi, you now have a friend on your shoulder. Kasumi looks as happy as she's ever been. You're very soft there. Don't adopt this one too. Oh, thank you. Okay, and with that acquisition of a brand new friend, uh, you begin walking. You continue walking through the forest uh, towards the trunk, which still looms in front of you, visible through the canopy of these much smaller trees. Um, as you stroll, you occasionally see another one of those ribbons, uh, floating along, um, taking an interest in you as you walk. Some of them larger than other ones, but some of them small, smaller, different colors, but, uh, mostly more of them are tending to keep their distance or just check in, look at you, eh, and then leave. Um, as opposed to Dima, who is apparently just very curious. Bells. Yes. I've realized that Kasumi has befriended every single outsider we've we've met. She just well, has a way with uh, ghosts. With friends. That's like a Gadaris, Peep, Bima. It's true. Every yeah. outsider that hasn't tried to kill you. Yeah. Polonius. <laughs> yeah, she's she's alright with Polonia. She gets she gets the steez. Respects. Um. All right. So you continue onward. Uh, the fruits and vegetables eventually yielding to the harsher feeling of the hard uh, bark as you exit that copse of fruit trees and uh, find yourself along the branch again. Although now the branch is a vast expanse, um, just a massive uh, that seems to stretch onto the horizons, except where it connects to the trunk itself which you know it takes you a couple of hours to reach and at this point at that uh after traveling for that long you're actually you've tra actually traveled for about eight hours uh today just walking along this branch reaching the end of the branch where it meets the trunk and the slope just begins to rocket upward um, until it's nigh on vertical 
or indeed in places ver fully vertical, uh, you have uh, you've reached um, the normal day's end of travel. The question is, do you want to stop here, or do you want to keep going? Um, uh, we should probably rest. You know, it, may, it might be kind of nice to spend a night, a night underneath the boughs of the great tree. Oh my god, it's Bows. I'll fight you all. It's Bows. <laughs> Google how to pronounce Bows. I know my trees, man. Yeah, no, it is Bows. The mighty Bows. Bow, bow. Something also, like a... did, you know, did you know that the part where a branch meets the trunk is called a crotch? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you are in a tree's crotch. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. So, did you bring like tents or anything into? Uh... Yes. Hell no. Out of the I said, so I said side. I was getting all prepared for the trip. So. Excellent. That's uh, true. Includes tent. That's good. So who's been carrying it then? Because you... he's, oh, he's the he has the big horse muscles. Yeah. Bat Bat yeah. is uh, at this point a substantial pack animal. Uh, um, it, I do not like the fate of my character becoming <laughs> a pack mule. But... No, he's just got a big backpack. Okay, that's more saddle bags, maybe. Wait a second. Hey, right, we Aki also brought a the um. Cleric guy, right? I just remembered that. Hey, but, did we? Yeah. Uh, I think so, yeah. Yep. You guys were. Yeah, yeah. You, you guys God, asked me totally who different. my. Let's bring a healer, guys, that's right. You guys yeah. were asking me, like, who my favorite was, and I told you not him. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? But well, I it was, a, it was a choice, and you chose a tactical choice. Yeah. That was language no. good i'm smart yeah what nothing oh i thought you were making fun of me okay no my um my my own language didn't work good ah. there um so you got sonata here yes just throw them on the screen so i can remember who's around um we got that by our we got Akio. Yeah, it's me, Akio. Polina. Oh, it's me, Polina. Sara. I'm gonna kill myself. I'm sorry. Kasumi? What? I don't know. Aquafina! What? What? It's offensive. Pascal. Nice. Would you rather be. Look at these fancy yeah. arts. Um, am I missing anyone? Banana oh. Bob. <laughs> no, but... How could you forget Banana Bob? How, how could you forget Banana Bob? Check my no, I'm not. I, you each have a <laughs> you each have a cohort, even though Paulina doesn't actually have leadership. She essentially I'm a lone does. wolf. <laughs> she says next to her significant <laughs> other. Yeah. Looming over her at all times. <laughs> yeah, I, I like to think that occasionally Pow just like gives herself like pep talks in the mirror, like trying to talk like a badass, and it's very embarrassing for her when Pascal sees us. Probably, she probably does give herself pep talks in the mirror. I don't think she, she puts on a badass voice for it. I think it's just like telling herself not to worry about fucking up and everything being destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, no, you're not, the fastest we're thing not, alive. You we're can not gonna walk die today. very fast. Everything's not going to burn down. It's going to be okay. <laughs> you can get to the other side of the globe in like 50 seconds. That's very cute, honey. Jerry, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you're like the movie speaker. <laughs> um... <laughs> So, as you're sort of setting up, um, you note that uh, you discover that apparently the tree 
as weather. Nice. Uh, well, less nice, as you note that uh, coming from uh, around a bow above and, well, you suppose several miles away, um, you see a cloud, and from the cloud is clearly a torrent of rain. That's bad. That is currently floating in your general direction. Um, but then we got these tents. Yeah, that is true. You do the, have tents. The Vapor can't fit in. <laughs> that is also uh, true. Maybe you can't. Um, well, that's the thing. So Batbyar can carry like two tents, yeah. um, comfortably. He can carry several, many more tents, really. But uh, at that point, it'd just be like <laughs> they'd be like falling all over the place and be hard to balance them on his back. Um, so two tents uh, erected. Those can fit four people each. But Batbyar is a centaur and uh, is. Big, oh, wait. even for that. But Balfire has a shape-changing amulet. What, but that which goes into has effect a shape-changing yeah. uh, amulet. Which goes into effect when he wakes up, but I mean... <laughs> we can hopefully yeah, clear you're the gonna, <laughs> You're gonna want to wake up before he does. But, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so who would like to roll for Mr. Batfire's uh, shape-changing amulet in order to fit in this tent? I'm gonna roll this time. Fine. Do I roll? Fine, take away my right. <laughs> I want to yeah, do it really once. Is. All right. Uh, you get to roll a d32. Also, Akio, your wounds are healed, and uh, you have no more stress. You can... Uh... Wait, did I not heal from the last fight? Whoa, that's a No, mistake. you have 29 out of 66 hit points, which is oh, God, what, what we would call bad. <laughs> um, uh, oh, I feel like shit. Uh, all right. Batbear, your height shrinks, but not tremendously. Um, as uh, your features sort of become very uh, angular and pointed. Uh, um, and your bone structure thins a little, but you're still probably the beefiest wood elf to have walked Locus. I or, have fire. You know, the, or Idrisil, for that matter. This is like the most appropriate thing ever for this setting, is that I am a wood elf. Yeah. You are one jacked wood elf, for that matter. Uh, I am one with the trees again. I am Malik Bayar. Hey, Zada, check this out. No. It's a good thing. <laughs> check this. Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nah, I was gonna like go for like I don't know, nipple dancing, but I don't want to look that up me. on Tinder. What? You know that thing that like really jacked men do, where like, oh, check this oh, out. Oh, I see. Yeah. But bouncing their pecs. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't need. To I have never too. heard to that referred as nipple dancing in my yeah, life. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of it though. <laughs> <laughs> I. Okay, right, moving on. Let's get. I don't know if I thing. can. You have to have um, pretty substantial development before you can. I don't know what the connection is, but. Anyhow. But uh, yes, Batfire can do it. E uh, Batfire, you're able to do it easily, and uh, Bima claps appropriately for you as well. Okay, that's what I do. All and right. then I get in the thing. Hey. So, um, Kasumi and Mino and Sada and Batfire and 110, Akio, Palina, uh, Toru and Pascal in the other one. Uh, excuse me, Sonata. And, uh, yeah. Very soon, the rain 
begins to fall upon the canvases of your tent. Um, uh, it uh, actually fairly intense deluge. Uh, luckily, the tree is slightly curved, so you're not having to worry about um, pooling near you, but uh, it, it does get a little bit more humid in the tent at the very least, and the um, and the canvas walls of the two tents are somewhat uh, moist to the touch. Um, it's also quite crowded in the tent. But you guys have some time to chat or chill before you uh, go to sleep for the day. Or indeed, actually, um, considering uh, you actually have a substantial amount of time because again you only need eight hours of sleep um but you've traveled for eight hours today there's still an eight hour period that you could be doing you know your own thing um if you want to do so so you you have some time before you need to go to bed is what i'm saying you're not necessarily I exhausted yet literally have no idea what to do right now so i feel like exploring the place would be a bad idea without you know, the also it's raining party. Yeah, but it's not like it's like it's not like it's you know, not. Why can't I think of the the story with the rain? That's like, like it's because of the gravity. It hits you like a rock. Why can't I? Damn it. Whatever. It's not heavy rain. It's not poisonous rain. It's not venomous rain. Uh huh. Are you so sure? Popsicle rain. <laughs> <laughs> it's not chocolate rain. I want ice cream. Oh, yeah. I'm over away from the mic to take a breath. Anyways, um, uh, I really like ice cream too. Ice cream is good. Uh, uh, but I don't want to be on my own when I do that because this is not one. <laughs> I see if he's gonna go look for head. All right, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here and contemplate. Well, Kasumi, the range uh, is no uh, concern for you. Indeed, you could just create a uh, a circular plane of water above you to block it uh, yeah. from itself. Um, even if uh, even if you were concerned about getting hit by it in the first place, oh, the Bima is ac accompanying you, so uh, you know, keeps her dry. Um, yeah, you, uh, any direction you specifically want to explore? Um, I don't know, I mean, can I go see if there, like, where it's a little more wooded? I might go take a look over there. Closer to the crotch of the tree, you actually, <laughs> um, because you're, you're a little bit away from it, you're maybe a half a mile. Um, if you walk over to it, you can see where in the actual, uh, place where it meets the tree, um, it, it sort of goes down into a, well, where the tr uh, branch actually branches off. Um, and in that area, you can see that there are some trees growing. Hmm. Um, heading down there, you find that there are trees growing on either side of what has become with the heavy rain, basically a river um, running you can see where it diverges because it runs in both directions, uh, presumably at the center of the branch. It will either go off one side or it'll go off the other. But you can actually see where it's sort of pooling and then splitting into yeah. either direction. Um, there, it's uh, running quite quickly at this point too, as uh, a lot of water is pouring over. Um, you note that uh, there are all types of trees here. Um, trees that you would never think would ever grow together, grow together here. Um, and you're starting to notice that you can see specific biomes chilling out in the boughs of the tree mm -hmm. and multiple instances of each, but 
in the spaces between, it just, in on the branches themselves, it sort of just looks like anything can grow uh, if it wants to or where it wants to. Um, everywhere is a perfect environment for everything uh, on the branches themselves. Neat. And so you have actually walked up to a cactus surrounded by a few peach trees. <laughs> um, I'm going to... Uh, I want to look for a peach that's fallen to the ground. I don't want to pull it off the tree, but there's one that's like on the ground that gets fallen naturally. And I will, I will pick it up. And... Um, well, sure. Roll a perception check. I can do that. I have perception. Let's go. Hey. Wow, it's a good perception check. Uh, you scour the ground, but um, you don't really see any peaches on the ground, and you realize that the ground is on a uh, on a slant down towards where the down towards the actual crotch of the tree where is now a big river um mm. so you don't immediately see any on the ground as you pass under these peach trees peach trees and you do look pretty exhaustively uh until you hear you feel something splash through the uh water umbrella that you've created and pop you on the head rolling off and getting caught by bima it is a peach Oh, but cool. Uh, Dima, do you want to you want to split a peach with me? Uh, That's fucked Dima up. <laughs> takes a teeny slice of peach and uh, eats it. Somehow, you don't actually see what Dima's mouth is, but apparently she has one as she makes tiny little munching noises. Oh, that's good. Um, her, being that the Leshy is so absolutely tiny, uh, it's like she didn't take anything at all. So the rest of the peach is yours. Okay, I just, I kind of sit down next to a, a peach tree and just enjoy the sounds of the rain while I munch on a peach with my new friend Bima. Mm -hmm. As you finish the pe peach, you're just left with a pit. Um, what do you do with it? Um, part of me is like keep the peach pit and then plant it because it's like a special peach pit from another realm. But no, I'm gonna dig a little hole and carefully put the peach pit in the hole, and then I'll, uh, you know, they'll cover back up. Um, you do this, you know, in a sort of, in a space that's a little bit far, further away from other plants that you hadn't even really noticed before. In fact, if you had to recount, you would have said it wasn't there, but, you know, you, you plant the little peach pit, and, uh, after you do so, and you start walking away, you hear a, um, a sort of crackling noise, and looking behind you, you can see a tiny little sprout, uh, and in sort of like a stop motion camera of a tree growing, you see a peach tree go from seed to full grown in the space of about a minute. And oh, before awesome. you is a brand new peach tree. Hell yeah. Same and drops peach in front of you. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to pocket this one for now. Mm. And then I'll uh, I'll make my way back with Bima. Hey. Nice of you. Well, I mean, I'm not a worshiper of Silva, but if we're here, I feel I should try to pay my respects the best I can. Bima liked that you see in the upper left hand corner of your uh, vision. Bima will remember this. <laughs> That's my favorite one because it's ominous. 
Um, Sada, anything you want to do? Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything. You're back. Hmm. Want to come back to you? Sure. Okay. Akio, how are you doing? I... I don't know, actually. You are squeezed into a tent with Sonata, Pau, and Pascal. Um, Pascal is presently trying to remove his armor uh, in preparation for rust. Do you need um, help? Pascal? Uh, well, no, not really. I mean, I keep some of the straps kind of loose anyway. Mm. Um, you know, give me room to flex. What? In your armor? Oh, I mean, that's not... <laughs> I wish that was actually kind of a joke, but yeah, around, like, my, ar my upper arm, I keep one of the straps looser so that, like... And, you know, he, he moves his arm out and uh, moves his arm up and down the fitted metal plates around his uh, upper arm to slightly separate and then uh, close back up again as he does so. Mm. Uh, because, you know, my arm's bigger when it's in this position as opposed to this position, or at least my upper arm's with it. Oh, this makes sense. All right. Yeah, well... the whole thing is fitted, so it's kind of a little constricting. Hmm. Well, um, all right. Oh, uh, just want to remind you, Pascal, I haven't forgotten about the chair. I'm going to be working on that. I just kind of have, like, the issue with the battle came up. Don't you worry about that. Oh, uh, yeah, me. no, man, it's, uh, I wasn't going to remind you because, you know, we are in another dimension surrounded by giant tree. Fruit. Yeah. And fruit. Yeah. Where are you getting this giant fruit thing? I've only seen normal sized fruit. Uh I was told. I'm just listen, I'm I'm very I'm one of those people that when I'm when I you put an idea in my head, I, I wanna see it, and I hope it's true. I wanna see a giant apple or a giant banana, something that goes on for miles, and Eldridge uh a giant piece of Listen, it's just something I read. It's something I'm looking for. I don't know. It's just, it'd be nice. It'd be cool. I don't Sorry. know. After the verdant groves, groves, I think I've had enough of uh, giant foods. Well, it's not like the, it's not like they would be talking. I'm made out of souls and trying to jump in my mouth. I'm um, not convinced that they were made out of souls, but uh, they they were pretty aggressive around you. That is true. I was kind of greedy. Alright. Well, uh... Do you need a hand with yours? No, I'm good. I, I am not as... One would say... Finely crafted as you. Uh... So, let me just take this off. And there we go. Okay, I have not been out of my armor in a hot second, I just realized. I hope... Oh no. Oh. Damn it. Do you need to, uh, you wanna, yeah. like, put that out in the rain or something? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, smells like blood and rust. Yeah, and ale. Alright, let's put that out there. Okay. Uh, Paulina, what are you doing as this goes on? Eh, yeah, Paulina. Khalil. Hey, Helena Khalil, wouldn't it be fucked up if two men were on the moon and one hit the other one with a rock? <laughs> I don't know. What? Oh, um, no. uh, just uh, chilling and taking in the wonders of not nature, but this place. 
Yeah, this this pseudo natural place. It's, yeah. Uh, it's natural for here. You know, rain it's... sounds and stuff. It's good meditating weather. <laughs> Miles along the road. Anyway. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, Sada, did you uh, think of anything that you would like to? Uh... want to go stand in the rain all right look you go stand okay at the uh, sky the rain pours in your face the sky is occluded by clouds it's a lot of water quite frankly but somehow also peaceful there's no thunder or lightning it's just rain it's not overly cold it's just gentle despite being torrential <laughs> it's like being it's sort of like you're in a shower basically yeah you're 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 getting soaked pretty quickly. Nice. Ambience. As you're standing out there, uh, Kasumi would be starting to get back with Bima. Yeah. Uh, Kasumi, you see Sada standing out in the rain, looking upwards. Stoically, her Doing edge right. threatening to cut through the tree bough. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you uh, doing okay over there? You see, kind of like you're kind of zonking out a little bit. Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, I mean, you were pretty against all this. I mean, I understand. I was sort of in your position, position at one point, so I empathize. But, you know, was, I think at least asking him is the right thing to do. So... I was just... So I was mostly worried about the danger. Because the only, oh. only thing I could think of was Polonius. And Polonius has largely been pretty good to us, all told, for a god of excess, but I we don't want to over rely on him, of course. Yeah. You know, that would be excessive. Which would make him happy, but, you know, probably not the best idea for us who's Polonius he is another god uh, our mm. where we come from there are three gods that are primarily worshipped and one of them is Silva one of them is Polonius oh who's the third god I uh, I <laughs> no. A a god named Atenket. Oh. Some people also worship Crypta, but she isn't one of the like the they they call it the Triarchate. Oh. Are they nice gods? They're all pretty nice. I mean Silva is he's the god of this realm. Uh it's nice here. <laughs> yeah, I I thought so too. Um Atenket is all about making sure people are the best they can be of it with themselves. Which is nice. Nice. And I guess you could say Polonius is the least nice. Uh, he's kind of all about being kind of selfish. But he's been very reasonable with us. And 
We can't just tell people not to worship someone. No. What are you going to ask Shinichi? Um, we were going to ask him if he was content staying here or if he would like to come back with us. Shinichi, though. What? I'll miss Shinichi if he goes with you. Yeah. Well, we... We have found a way to travel here, so if he does come with us, we can make sure that he's able to come visit, too. Nice. Could I come with you? Sure. I, yeah, I don't if, know. If you, if you can, yeah. You might be able to. It's... I, I don't know how it works. He came from where we're from originally, but if there was a way and you'd like to come, you would be welcome to. Shinichi was one of my best friends. I miss him. I've missed him, too. She's very good. Yeah. Very quiet. But he says a lot. <laughs> yeah, that sounds yeah. like him. So, oh, my lot. He does do that. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go back inside and try to get some sleep. Uh, okay. Sada, you probably ought to do the same. Yeah. All right, Kazumi, you re-enter the tent where Fat Bayar is. Practicing his nipple dance while Mino looks on <laughs> flatly. Oh! It's a I, surprise. I don't. I don't like it. Um, I, I do turn to Sada and ask her, that, you know, if I could help with the whole soaking wet thing. Yeah. And then I just kind of like. I was gonna try to use my fire, but you can probably do it faster. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a little bit of it's. It's a little bit of both uh, fire and water. You know, I, I pull the water off you and then I use like some fire to like dry your clothes. And soon Sada is toasty and dry. And after some time of just farting about in the tents, you do manage to get to sleep. And after about Eight hours or so. You awaken. Mal betrays us. You... <laughs> <laughs> Pal betrays you. Yes. No, I thought you were saying Bimo was going to betray us. <laughs> no, no, Pal. Bimo pulls out a no. gun. Bima, yeah, Bima pulls out a gun. <laughs> Nobody takes Shunichi. <laughs> um. Yeah, you awaken and are able to start dismantling the tents. Um, unfortunately, Bat by Art turns back into a massive centaur <laughs> in the tent, and that causes a bit of a stir, yeah. <laughs> some consternation. Um, but eventually you are able to get the tents back uh, packed away and one only uh, slightly ripped. Um, from having a hoof go through it but you are ready to continue your journey up the tree the question is how do you get up the tree it's vertical i try, I try stepping on it you place your foot upon the trunk is a stick what do you do next <laughs> i try to um, i try to lift my other leg <laughs> you lift your other leg and fall on your ass. Shit. <laughs> well, it was worth a try. It appears that gravity is down. Wait a second. Gravity is no longer active. There's... Uh, you don't get hurt. Unfortunately, yeah. um, because when you drop and hit you and you know land on your ass, um, 
you seem to drop a little bit slower. Ah. And actually, um, Kasumi, you noticed mm -hmm. that as well. When the peach dropped from the tree and when the peach dropped on your head, the peach dropping on your head didn't, like, hurt at all. And the peach dropping from the tree was... It, it dropped slowly. Um... Sad is using all her willpower to not just jump <laughs> really high. You could try. <laughs> you could try. I could How try. How far is the next branch? <laughs> Miles. Okay. <Yeah>. All right. <laughs> how do you, how do you guys get around, Bima? Turn into a ribbon of color and fly. Ah, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, we saw you do that. That is a Turn good way to get around. How about, how about, other, how about, how about other entities who can't do that? Well, the only things that live here are servants of Silva, like me, and, you know, souls. Ah. And souls can fly too. I see. Ah. Dude. And bugs, millions of bugs. <laughs> do, do souls look like people, or are they different here? Built look different. Like... There's some now. What? Bima oh. points, and uh, you see a bunch of deer actually. Oh hell yeah! Move out of the oh. wood. Um, except they're vaguely glowy and vaguely translucent sick are you saying that those were people once no those are no, deer. those were deer yeah <laughs> but i asked what spirits the yeah they look they look boy. like that no i mean but yeah do, i'm do you... i'm not the people kind the deer i mean they, they look like that but they look like people but glowy <laughs> probably oh people yeah. but they're glowy no, oh okay <laughs> I thought you meant they looked like deer. No. And I was like, whoa. Okay. Anyway. Well, now what, I which, uh, like which, which way is, is Chinichi, Bima? Bima points generally upward until left. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you need to get up the tree, though. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I can ask the tree if it can get you up there. I'd appreciate that. Yeah. Okay. Kasumi, could you put me towards the tree, please? Hey, yes, uh, I, I do so. Mm -hmm. Ima's tiny little legs are like walk over, walk down your arm. Um, he has a, a weird sort of like hopping from side to side gait um, until she's on your hand and uh, she touches the tree. Hold on, hit the tree. It can be a little slow. Okay. So, you like it here? Yeah, it's beautiful here. Okay. Here it comes. Oh, it's coming. I can't wait. Hmm. And uh, you guys are <laughs> waiting there for about another hour before you finally see what's actually coming towards you. Does it just occasion? Does she occasionally, or does it just occasionally say it's coming? It's coming. Yeah, Bima seems to have an exact awareness of this object, but uh, it's uh, well, it has a lot. Of, it it does have a lot of distance to cover, so. Apparently, Bima feels the need to stay in contact with the tree for the entire time that it travels towards you. And what it is, is a mushroom. Oh, or yeah. rather, one of those uh, fungi that grow out of the sides of trees. So it's basically just like a flat platform, only it's kind of like the size of... Um, uh, so the size of like a basketball court. Um, traveling down the side of the tree towards you um, until it uh, lands a little distance away from you. 
it's pretty tall. It's like uh, it's like four feet thick. So you have to actually climb up onto it. But uh, right. yeah, you you now have a traveling fungus platform. Wonderful. Very cool. Uh, stepping up onto it, um, it sort of has a squishy um, exterior. If you're hungry, you can eat it. Just not too much, or you'll fall through. It's gonna be takes a little bite. It tastes like a mushroom. Ah, oh, nice. That's the good stuff. Um, and at this point, Bima takes her hand off the wall, and uh, it'll take us to where we're going. And the mushroom starts going upward and upward and upward. It seems to be moving at quite a good clip, uh, but uh, it's, you know, it's uh, got a lot of room to color, cover, but it's not long before you can look down and see the bow that you were on. Um, the great branch before branching off into hundreds of other branches and held within these like uh, held within its leaves are beyond the forest that you initially saw you can see like a massive lake uh, surrounded by flowers a great like sort of arid looking area with um, grasses and stone uh, monoliths within mountains of limestone and what look like even more precious stones. You can see green jade uh, glittering underneath the, uh, well, perhaps it is merely colored green because of all the moss and lichens that cling to it. And you can see this around you forever. Above and below you is n nature in all of its glory in microcosm, but in a macro form. Mm. Uh, every natural landscape, some of which are completely unrecognizable to you. are visible to you. You are traveling upward and to the right <laughs> for three days, camping out on this mushroom. Um, luckily, the mushroom is quite pliant and uh, the um, the tents are easily uh, put into it. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to be doing uh, during these three days of travel by mushroom? Uh, I just wanna, I wanna take in all the sights, feel the feel the wind on my face. No, you do plenty of both of that. Yeah. Really, <laughs> all you can do, really. I I want to cut a few little mushroom steaks and wrap them up and put them in the bag of holding. Okay. To be, to be cooked to be cooked later. All right. Uh, how many you uh, grab? Uh, not a lot. Just a few. Okay. So you have like... Uh, you got slices. Yeah, you got four in there. Yeah. Um, Pascal sees you doing it just like gives you a thumbs up. Oh, yeah. uh, I know what I want to do. If mm -hmm. we get back to I want to I want to play hide and seek oh, with Bima. Yeah. I want to see how well I can hide on on this mushroom. Um, eventually, un unless you're high, well, that's the thing. So you do <laughs> it, do it extremely well, but eventually Bima figures out there's, there's only like five places you could possibly be hiding, and three of those are behind actual people. Um, so. Eventually, the games do get pretty short. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, Akio, anything interesting from you? or uh... You know what? 
No. Uh. Fuck. <laughs> Akio wants to fuck. No, I just don't <laughs> know what to do. And and you know what? Just like, hey. interact with the world. All right. Hey, little lushy. I. Hmm. I got some questions I gotta ask. What? On the. On the. Uh, cycle of this place, for example. Are there giant fruit around here? Giant fruit that are probably they they don't naturally grow at these sizes in our world. Giant apples, mile long bananas. Our world. Yeah. Oh, that can be. Yeah. What's like the <laughs> what's like the biggest fruit you've seen? And how big was it? I know you're tiny, but like compared to my friend Batfire here, look at him, he's huge. What's the biggest thing you've seen? <laughs> what? Yeah, there's a watermelon. Oh, where's that? Is that close by? I don't think so. Damn. It was yeah. like. And Bima stretches her arms out as wide as they go, but that's only like eight inches. <laughs> um. <laughs> But she goes, this big. Bam. All right, well, I have a question, I guess. Uh, any, anything interesting happened it, uh, here that isn't usually the norm? Just, you know, you got a story. Tell me about Tell me about yourself, maybe. Your family. Silva. Have you met Silva? Silva's consciousness. What? Oh, he's like an all around us kind of deal? No, it's, I think that's just, it's a, it's a little hard to explain. I don't really understand. But basically, I didn't exist, and then he willed me to, and now I exist. Wow. Yeah, I see. How many how many dinosaurs have you seen? What's a dinosaur? <laughs> Akio doesn't think they exist. Lots of souls of dinosaurs. Nice. Okay, so how about how about chickens? Are there any chickens here? Well, sometimes. Sometimes. There aren't many wild chickens. Okay. Mostly wild animals that end up here. Okay. Wait, I think. Wait, where did the tamed apples go? They're an agriculture god. <laughs> no, just, no we know we know we know where all the chickens go. Polonius is realm. Yeah, all they're all. Them? They're all yeah. bad. They're all bad. That, it, wait little a second. known fact: all chickens are evil. No, that was wait not the case. Wait a second. Those were not the souls of chickens. I don't know why, but that's like a surprisingly dark scenario you just threw at us. All the wild chickens end up here, but what happens to the tame chickens? They go to hell. Yeah. yeah. All chickens go to yeah. hell. That's they that know. is the name of the movie. Yeah. I don't actually know where they go. Is there a god of agriculture? There was. <laughs> Hmm. Agrilla died. Hmm. No one filled that void. Well, I guess yeah. chickens go to purgatory. A lot of fundamental voids got uh, got uh, disappeared. Um, but yeah, no, uh, Bima doesn't know where oh, it's so sad. domesticated animals go. I'm sure they go someplace nice. Oops. Animals can't really be bad. We're not maddy. I never I met know. my kitty cat. There's walking. a whole bunch of uh, there was a there was some sort of thing that happened up yeah. here. Yeah, that was recent. Oh, ah, what was it? Um, I don't really know. It was oh, okay. a whole lot of loud noises. And 
box and buzzing and then weird noises uh. clanging clanging but I don't know what it was I left when? I went down well yeah uh. recently uh. Uh. Mm. hey pow mm -hmm. gods can't invade other gods realms can they Oh boy, is that a thing? Make a uh, religion truck. Okay. Is that even like a a thing we could know? Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> Maybe we roll really good roll really good knowledge religion check. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh man, I always roll really shit religion checks. <laughs> Actually, this one is pretty easy. Oh. I don't know that. It's straight from the horse's mouth, as a matter of fact. You know, Polonius told you oh. that deities in their own realms are completely omnipotent. If another god invaded the realm of a... Uh, it would be pointless, basically. Right. Um, an incursion from uh, of that sort of scale would be immediately noticed and just ended immediately. Um, uh, okay. And you saw what Pol how Polonius could. I mean, uh, uh, Amantha is yeah. literally one of the most powerful servants of Atanket and one of the most powerful outsiders, period. The Uktiels of Atanket are like um, uh, genuinely scary to other outsiders that might be uh incurring their wrath um and polonius could manhandle uh amantha without even really thinking about it it was child's play the difference in power was an ant to the sun So you would expect that a god would not be able to invade the realm of another god. Huh. I wonder what that clanging is then. Something bad. Maybe someone visiting like the way we are. Pull up my sword. I guess we should check it out. Did you see anything else? Uh, Bima? Tiny servant. <laughs> I was thinking about becoming a familiar for a, a druid or oh, wizard, yeah? but I think I like it here. It's nice. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's nice. And now I get to meet mortals like you, so that's nice. Yeah. What's it like being mortal? Yeah. It's okay. Lots of hardships. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. You get okay. hungry? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but, you know, that just means we get to yeah. eat good good food and then feel full afterwards. And that's nice. There's mm. good, there's upsides. Yeah. yeah. I get the... Why are they so big? Bima points at uh, Pascal, uh, Sonata, and Batfire. Uh, they, they, comparing... the, they worship a ten kit. <laughs> who are comparing nipple dancing techniques. Oh, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I like to uh, move it, move it. No, what you do like is you start moving. at the top and then you roll down. Anyway. <laughs> Or I guess it's not just a tank cat. People just like getting really strong. Yeah, they like oh. being that way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You just take a bunch of stuff and add it onto themselves. 
No. No. I guess in the simplest terms. No. <laughs> Yeah. That's what we kind of do. Yeah. Oh my god. Could yeah. you be bigger than? No. Oh. oh. You couldn't just like roll into a pumpkin patch and then become like a big, a big I pumpkin guy. I could become guy? a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be very cute. Yeah. Wow. I like the. Uh, horrifying. I like the fruit though. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Yeah, it's more like it's a they... nice smell. For us, it's more like you eat a bunch of stuff and then you work out a bunch and make it all into into muscle. It's a muscle. Yeah, it's okay. I point. I point that the, uh, those three, what the, what they're covered in. Stuff that's on the inside. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> what are we? What? <laughs> what? 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 What are we talking about? Are we talking about muscles? Yeah, yeah. Bima was asking why you're so big. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I yeah. eat a lot of meat. Oh, <laughs> and uh, I, I just so what happened was first I got like this, and then my essence was extracted from me and made into a juice, and then I put that juice back inside me, triple full. Boy. And now I'm like this again. But like twice. <laughs> you said that they eat a lot and work out. <laughs> yeah. He drink juice. Yeah, you, yeah, you're right. Um, it's a bit more like the way you do it, I guess. You just oh. added some extra stuff onto him. Yeah. Yeah. Before, huh. I... Bima takes like a piece of mushroom and... Bounce, uh, hops over to Batfire and like slaps it up against his leg <coughs> and holds it there for a second before letting it go and just sort of falls off. Oh. <laughs> that didn't work. Uh, uh. Oh my god. We'll be right back, by the way. Does he, does he, <laughs> I don't know what to say yet. <laughs> right, I'll be right back. Two. So, so what can die. we see now? Hmm? What's it like to die? What's it like oh. to die? I mean, I, I don't know. You have to ask, uh, you have to ask Batfire. And Pascal. Yeah, Pascal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I was only dead for like six seconds, so. <laughs> Have you asked Shinichi? Yeah. But he said it was kind of a weird situation. Uh, because he was a... Yeah, a Yeah. But he said it was vital, but peaceful. Even though it was violent. Oh. Which I thought was weird. Yeah. Glad it was we were possible. fighting some bad people. I know. So yeah, where... I was wondering... Okay. Oh, did you not hear that? Oh, no, I did not. I, I guess it didn't go through. Uh -huh. uh, I'll try that again. I okay. have to die now. What? What? Because I became this instead uh -huh. of a well, that. She points up towards a few flapping colors that are just sort of vaguely in the distance and flying away from you. Uh, you're cutting out. I'll become a color again, oh. but I have to die first. Oh. Oh. Mm. You, you don't. You can't just stop yeah, being just a little fruit person.
a little free person talk. I don't think <laughs> you picked up any of that. <laughs> yeah. I just heard little fruit person. You're a little fruit person? A little fruit I like person. being a little fruit person. Oh, yeah. that's good. <laughs> I was just wondering because that will have to happen eventually. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's okay. This is the most solemn mushroom ride you could ever have imagined <laughs> in this beautiful, magical nature kingdom. Just talking we, about death. Well, what do we see now, Sal's? How oh, long? How far into the trip are we, anyway? Uh, you're getting seemingly close to the end. You're heading directly oh, towards a bow that uh, has been growing closer and closer. Hmm. Uh, um, you might reach there on tomorrow. Uh huh. Probably didn't hear that. No. <laughs> Am I making you slob? No. No, you're fine. I don't talk to many people. Well, we're glad to be some people you talk to. It's nice to have met you. You too. What do have met? I'm glad to have met you. Mm. And with that, the, the trip continues on until eventually you do reach that bow and walk out onto it. The mushroom just sort of hanging out behind you. And uh, you stroll out. And Almost immediately, you are confronted by a large sort of carnivorous forest. It's There's not nearly as much distance of just bark and branch uh, on this bough. It's just very suddenly you walk into this um, sort of a northern climate forest. The trees that uh, you guys don't really recognize very easily. They're not uh, the kind native to the tropical re regions that you've grown up with, grown up in and have inhabited your whole lives. These are, anyone with knowledge of nature, you would know that uh, these are pine trees. Um, I'm back, internet problems. Okay. Um, uh, coniferous trees, you know, evergreens. They, they smell nice. Mm. Um, Occasionally, you find weird shaped things that anyone with nature again would know as a pine cone. But, uh, and the, the ground here is instead of being having like fresh, loamy grasses and uh, mosses, it's strewn with pine needles um, that don't appear to be turning brown. They're just, they they fall to the ground and just stay green. Hmm. You walk along um, until you sort of come up to a ridge where the trees are growing. And you sort of climb up and around the ridge. Who climbs up first? I don't climb. Me. I jump. I, I, I climb and jump. I do it Sada all. Jumps. <laughs> How okay. big of a ridge is it? It's only like 10 feet. I also jump. <laughs> Just two idiots jumping. Kasumi is not going to do that. Kasumi is going gravity's, to slowly hey, and carefully climb. OK. Because I don't have climb. Actually, no, I do acrobatics. I scratch that because Zoomy jumps too. <laughs> How if you want to roll acrobatics? Yeah, I think I get a. I think I get to add my level to jumps. So I get a plus 15 to jumps, which is pretty fun. I don't jump near enough for having such a fun ability. Yeah, you jump, jump good. Yep. All right, so that's a 40. Mm -hmm. All right. 
the three of you jump up onto this ridge. Is it cool? Hell and it's so uh, cool. it is a cool jump. But what you see <laughs> once you jump up is less so. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Before you is what can only be described as desolation. Oh. <gasps> the forest has been forest. obliterated. Oh. Not yeah. it's forested. Yeah. Something has not chopped the trees down oh. to to just use them for timber. The for the trees where they've been destroyed have been blasted to smithereens. Oh. oh and Jesus. strewn throughout, wrapped up in vines, oh. crushed by trees, impacted by rocks, impaled by stone <gasps> spikes, are metal soldiers <gasps> and machines oh in gleaming chrome and beautiful uh arc, arc deco geometries twisted by the destructive force of nature fighting against them frozen in the poses as they were fighting their way through the forest itself did, Jesus did, oh shit it's the god war did no did did i did I meant I send? Did he say that he had made an attempt to get him back? I don't remember what he had said to no, us. No, this, this would probably. Uh, so this, this is Agramentus. Yeah, Rita, this is probably Agramentus who was like the Iran god of like perfection via what? like. Why? Cow, make a knowledge religion check. Would he? Would the? Because he hates Silva. Oh. He do be hating Silva. Agramentus does hate Silva. Yeah. Like a lot. Because that's it's a whole thing. It's the God War. Yeah. Religion. Hey, I rolled another fourteen religion <laughs> check. Uh, how? My lucky number. You do yeah. know the difference between Acromentus and Absissa and Silva, and how the three Iron gods are not always on the best of terms. But while mm -hmm. Absissa and Silva generally get along, and Absissa and Acromentus are generally not particularly at odds. Acromentus and Silva absolutely loathe one another. Mm. But you also know that Acromentus's style yeah. is because these are our dark, people, right? Yeah. Yeah, dark mm. black metal bronze filigree. Yeah. Baroque so uh ornate um brass and smoke. This are all clean lines and chrome do, with the occasional like... brass internal uh, internals uh, visible. Do they look like the clockwork soldiers? They very much do. Yeah. So. Okay. And in fact, you do see a number of clockwork soldiers that have been modified with the spear launcher that you saw in the clockwork soldiers mm -hmm. that Agamentai sent to, uh, to aid you. And he didn't did mention try. this to us at all, did he? No. Nope. No. Are there any that are still like semi-active? Like they're like you know, it struggling in their in their restraints. Not a single blue glow visible through the entire. Um, do you walk into the battlefield? Yeah. I, I run. Um, I'm oh. Going, <laughs> I'm gonna pick up, keep up Bima first, and you know, make sure she's close by. So she's safe. This is it... scary. Oh, don't don't yeah, worry. Maybe, All right. maybe maybe leave her with the. I no, I I don't feel comfortable leaving her. Your uh your merry band of uh, followers are following you, so should be noted. Yeah. Uh, they have clambered up the ridge at this point. <laughs> um, uh... <clears throat> there is no climbable obstacle that Batbyar cannot overcome. Um, Isn't it great? <laughs> Those are the words I'd use to describe it. Yeah. Can I just say my my first fear, my immediate fear was I I thought this was going to be like mechanical lumberjacks like out of a Lorax or something. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> oh my god, they're deforesting the, the great tree. What the heck? Kind of awful, Doctor Seuss villain. Okay, this makes a lot more sense, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, as you're uh, walking through, you see beyond just like the regular clockwork soldiers that have been destroyed, larger automata, um, great quadrupedal machines with large arms with buzz saws at the end, 
uh, that were apparently fairly effective um, at uh, making a mess of their uh, opponents. Um, you see at least one towering tripod that's been impaled by a literal pine tree that appears to have just grown straight up through it. Um, but before it's, uh, well, destruction um, was apparently wielding, well, it's hard to describe. The, the, the devices at the ends of its three arms are foreign to you. Um, but any of you can make a, uh, a intelligence check if you want. I will try. May I roll good. I'm so smart. No, I did not roll good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyone else want to try? <laughs> uh, all right. Someone's going to have a brain in their head, right? Nope. Are we all really dumb? Yeah, we kind of are. I have a plus we? three to intelligence. I, I I just have a perfectly average intelligence of zero. Okay, you know who does have a good intelligence? And I'll try 11. to throw you on oh, Pascal. Pascal. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's a he's a big brain. Yeah, yeah a good, he's a big good man. Big, big money man. Yeah. Oh. Come on, big Little brain. Flex his brain muscle. <laughs> ah, there you go. Hey. Um. All right. Pascal looks at one of these things and sort of like moves it, like pokes it a couple of times. Huh. These look like bigger versions of that one thing that came out of, Agrament uh, of Agamenti that, that was like, had like an arc of electricity going between these two no node things. That's weird. Why? Well, I, mean, I don't know why, but if I had to guess what it would do, maybe it's like some sort of cutting tool. Mm. Why? What? He he probably I... wanted to. He, he tried to chase Junichi himself. He, he's not the person to ask for help, and that was his way of asking for help. But I don't think it worked out, and so he instead turned to us and demanded we do it. Yeah. He knew just... he would. Well, he he had to know we would come come across this. But this place looks like it's been bombarded. Do, no. Does does the devastation match these machines, or does it look like it's? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. As you're walking along, you do see like things that, you know, the machines have been torn apart literally by, uh, well, whatever it was that was fighting them, and it really does look like the the very like forest itself was battling against them. Um, but you do see where things that look, machinery that is incredibly arcane that have been split open to just reveal a mind numbing amount of gears and levers inside completely interlocked, but broken now. Um, and just uh, one that, has been one of the larger machines when split open had just apparently just disgorged a, uh, a ton of just gears that have just poured over and like mounded next to it like a anthill. Um, that a stare yeah. into, into one of their, their dead eyes as she balls her hand to a fifth. Yeah, the complexity of these things are absurd. I want to I want to take a a carryable like a small chunk of something like a a gear or something and and put it in the the bag. Oh. Well, you you're very easily able yeah. to to pocket a, a fair sized gear if you want that still intact. So, Sales, would you say like the the tree and plant life is mostly devastated here besides like the stuff that's destroyed the things? Uh, a lot of it, the, this entire, th this, basically this battlefield is now a clearing where there is a forest. Okay. Um, so the um, forest does surround it is still on all sides, the pines, uh, well, growing yeah. around it, but, uh, where basically where it isn't has been leveled. And as well, you, oh, yes, yeah, 
No, I was sorry. I was going to say Kasumi's going to do the same thing she did with the Peach Pit before. She's going to cut. Well, this time she's just going to cut this one out to, for quickness and then eat it later. And then she's going to plant the pit. Okay. Well, where you plant it, put it down. You have to dig a little to get through the pine needles, but eventually you uh, do reach soil and you plant and cover it back up again. And same thing, within a minute, a peach tree grows. Just sort of in the middle of this pine forest where it really shouldn't be. Well, um, yeah. But uh, nice it seems cone. fine. It's it, a gesture. It's, and uh, it drops a peach for you. Hell yeah. I, I take another peach. That's cool. Um, as you're walking, though, you do begin to see a rift, it looks like, where something cut into the stone and or a, an area of stone and uh, pine trees where it looks like a number of pine trees have just been sort of thrown apart. Um, and looking at it closely, you can see an area of stone that has just been gouged out in such a way to suggest a circle uh, or the very bottom of a circle being there. And looking at the way that the battle appears, it sort of radiates out like a teardrop from this point. He must have made his own portal. Yeah, this is where he came through. Yeah. Set the army through anyway. I mean, that and they would, only got this far. That would be probably what that sound was when we were there, pal. Yeah, thunking underneath the ground. Mm. Could have been, yeah. Well. I mean, there's not much we could do about it right now other than just keep on Why moving. would he send an army in? He's not... It's, he he's so not gentle. Aggressive. It's incredibly aggressive. Sada releases her fist. He misses him. He was willing yeah. to go this desperate to do it, too. Without asking us. Yeah, I'll... So we'll talk to him later, but for now, we gotta keep moving. Make perception like checks. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh... Perceive! 38. Nice perception. Nice perception. Nice perception. Nice perception. Hell yeah. You're still a nice perception, but you know, it's a little <laughs> bit lower than what I did. Um, you, Kasumi, uh, no, excuse me, Paulina and Sada, you hear something grinding, but as you listen, it resolves not into a grinding noise, but into a growl. Ooh. As Ooh. a voice echoes over you, ending your reverie and your conversation with the word interlopers. Oh, wow. How did I know it was going to be interlopers? No! <laughs> no! What is it? More mortals! More defilers! No, 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 no! I look. More yeah, what are we looking at? The same! We're totally not! <laughs> no, we're not. From Giant dinosaur. You hear something Gorilla. groan and crack and you turn in the direction to see the stone and forest floor heave upward <laughs> as stone and dirt and are lifted out of the ground by wood that wraps around them to form uh like, like a muscular structure over a stone skeleton Hell boulders yeah. pile up against Ooh. each other and on top of each other building a long uh massive huge structure that continues to mount up on each other until it 
forms a massively long tail out of entire logs and wrapped with vines, huge, thick stone legs that terminate into feet that don't step upon the ground so much as merge upon it before ripping themselves up and merging into the ground again. A massive body reaching even a head that seems even oversized for it, huge stone and sharp splinter teeth and a maw that could easily swallow any of you whole and two little twig like uh uh two little tiny arms in front to uh oh hell yeah i made uh twigs as a (laughs) stone wood and loam tyrannosaurus rex rips itself out of the ground and begins to charge you this is this is exactly what i would have had in mind for a a silva powerful silver outside of sal's very good good (laughs) <laughs> um, unfortunately, I don't have the battlefield set for it yet, so we will end there oh, no. and pick up next wow. week with your fight against uh, a very powerful servant of Silva. Yes, I'm excited. Oh man, hey, I also, I didn't, think, I'd also didn't, I didn't think about Leshies, but <laughs> that's a very good, very good choice as well. I love Leshies. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I figured. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, non Yeah. Silva was never nonviolent. Silva disintegrated people yeah. all the time. <laughs> oh no, I'm saying I'm I I'm I was planning on doing the whole nonviolence. All right, you, know. you can try. This thing seems <laughs> uh extremely not up for negotiation. <laughs> but you can try. I don't um, know negotiate with interlopers. Just plant another peach pit. And he'll be like, Oh, my friend, you understand <laughs> and, and and value nature. I am You fool, that ally. doesn't that doesn't belong in this biome. It's an invasive species. <laughs> ah! This is a pine forest. Ah! Um Okay, let's see. Hang on. Here. Where can a, can a peach tree grow in a pine forest? Well just generally deciduous trees aren't gonna have the best of times. In a uh, northern climate, a climate, climate that supports a pine yeah. forest. There's, there's different. There's, there's a lot of different kinds of pine, and not all of them are like you know. Yeah, I was gonna say typical just like... Christmas tree. Oh, that, that's true. This is, but when you have a forest that's just all coniferous, it generally reflects a, a colder clime. Yeah. Um, hey, like, you come uh, to Florida. There's lots they're of. All, they're all fir. <laughs> yeah, but if they're all fir trees or whatever, like it's. Those those ones, like jack pine or something, that can, that could be about anywhere. Well, I hope you enjoyed the session yes. in Silva's domain. I apologize it for it being a little short. I have been That's a fine. little bit busy this week, busy, and busy today I had, had uh, yes, but uh, <laughs> also with work, and also today I had an opera day, so I didn't have today uh, to prepare. Okay. Um. So, but. Uh, next week, you will be in a battle with a T-Rex uh, a, a, made out of stone and wood. A, a tree a tree Rex, if you will. A tree Rex. Tree Rex! <laughs> it was right there all along. Oh, oh my, my god. god, how did I not think of that? Okay. Incredible. Perfect. Um, and with that, the tree Rex. I uh, hope you enjoyed and have a good night. See you yes, next week. I'm excited. Bye-bye. <laughs>